Good morning, brothers. JK, your brother in this struggle here, on my way back from the gym as usual. It's gonna be a great day, all right? I say that and I'm gonna make it a great day and I hope you have a great day as well. I wanna briefly talk about the concept of hard work when it comes to your recovery. And I'm sharing this because I was earlier on in the gym reflecting on my concept of hard work about maybe a decade to 15 years ago. And I used to think, because I used to consume a lot of self-help material that, and also because of the way I was socially conditioned, like many of us, that in order to get something, you have to work hard at it. And this is true. You do have to work hard at something. But one thing I've realized, admittedly more recently, is that one of the reasons I was often frustrated when I saw individuals who were successful, whether it was in controlling some behavior, changing a habit, successful in their careers, reaching a physical or a social goal, was that those who seemed to be doing very well, it seemed as if this hard work thing just came to them naturally and they never really spoke about it much, right? Like think about it. <clears throat> Apart from somebody who is trying to sell you something, when you look at people who are truly successful, do you often hear them talk about and anything, literally anything, but it's an athlete or a business person. Do you see them talking about hard work? They rarely do, right? Once in a while, if they're teaching something, perhaps. But I realized that what I did, and you might be doing this, is I took the concept of hard work and I made it the middleman. It was like in order for me to get this something that I need, I need to put in this hard work thing. And what I didn't realize is that by putting the middleman in between what I didn't have and the thing that I wanted, I kind of made this very important, the hard work part. I needed to understand like what is hard work, what are the things I need to change within me that are going to help me work harder, what are my limiting beliefs about hard work. These things helped, but they also held me back for a time. And it might be holding some of you back, where some of you, there's some place you want to go, but you're so focused on the middle. Like, oh, I need to figure out this, the motivation in the middle of this thing, right? So I'm pretty sure like the people who are driving next to me sometimes think I'm crazy. Because <laughs> where's the guy next to me is like staring at me like, this dude is nuts. Who and what is he talking about? Anyway, you, you put something in the middle and you pedestalize it, so to speak. And so the hard work thing, the motivation, the limiting belief, the what am I going to do? that actually becomes the problem. But the problem is on this side. The problem is, you know, I can't control my out of control sexual behavior. I'm broke, I'm not in a relationship. I have poor social skills, I'm isolating myself. I have all these health issues. But when I looked at the other people, I realized that it comes from desire, okay? Just to cut to the chase. It comes from desire. When you desire something enough, when you want something enough, when you have a why that is deep and compelling enough, the thing in the middle, the hard work, doesn't become something you verbalize. It's just something that you do, right? So sometimes brothers will ask me like, oh, how many hours do you spend on your morning routine? How much time do you spend on this? How much time do you spend on that? You know, what is your mindset going into it? And the truth is, what you should actually work on is the desire part and the why part and the reason why and why it's important to you, first of all, because that's what's going to fuel you through this. And you end up putting in the hours, you end up just doing what you need to do, and nobody needs to motivate you to do it. You don't need to have this concept of hard work in the, in the middle. And this applies to those of you who are trying to be successful at your career, those of you who are trying to change your physique, those of you who are trying to, whatever it is, improve your, your social skills, right? Really, it is about the desire. That is the thing that I have noticed. And if we look at nature and the hard work nature puts in, nature being probably the greatest teacher, you know, you look at ants doing what they need to do, you look at a river or a stream flowing, it's just doing that. Or you look at something like gravity, right? These things don't work hard. They exert tremendous and stupendous impact on our universe, our planet as well. But nobody says they work hard. And you're like, oh my God, JK, you're comparing us to gravity and water and all these things. But are we not creations of that very same nature? Are we not as complex? as these things. 
are we not subject to all these laws? So why then do we as human beings, well, I know why, but questions to ask yourself, why then do we as human beings have this thing about taking the work, gravity doesn't do it, water doesn't do it, a river doesn't do it, the wind doesn't do it. You're like, oh my God, I need to obsess about working hard and, and the process. It has something that it needs to do, right? And it goes out there or it just exists there and it does it, right? A little bit of maybe more philosophical musings this morning when it comes to our behavior. But as it relates to me and you, personally, that is the conclusion that I've reached because it's becoming harder and harder for me to explain to a client, like what is the work that's involved? Because as I become more introspective and I move farther away from that out of control behavior and the years pile up, I begin to see these things more. So I hope you guys found that helpful. I'm gonna begin my day. I'm JK, your brother in this struggle. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you later on in the week.